Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Poke Gems. Guys, today we're making this awesome looking 3D heart. Just a few simple materials and you guys will be able to do it also. But before we get started guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any future projects. Guys, I can't wait to start this one. All we need is like five minutes and I'll show you how to become an awesome artist. All right, the way we're gonna start is with a regular piece of paper. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half this way. I mean, guys, we can't get any easier than this project, seriously. Once you're done folding it, take your pencil and draw a half a heart. Guys, it doesn't matter what kind of heart. Some people like longer hearts, some people like poofier hearts. It's up to you as long as it's a half a heart. Once you're done drawing that, take your scissors. Now guys, let me just, I have to say this. If you are a child, if you are under a certain age where you need to ask your parents, make sure you ask your parents before you pull out the scissors. Take those scissors out and basically, as your paper is folded, cut that heart out. Cut that half a heart right on that line that you drew with your pencil. All right, that's basically it. Once you're done cutting that, you should have a heart left over, and then you should have a piece of paper with, I guess we'll call a pattern of a heart inside of it. So those are your two materials that you're going to be using. All right, once we're done with that, guys, get another piece of paper, and then you are going to take that other paper that the heart is cut out of and you will put that over it now I like to use charcoal pencil for this you guys can use regular pencil that's completely fine and basically I'm going to make some lines kind of mostly on the left hand side of the heart now the reason why I like to use charcoal pencil is because it smudges very well and it gives it a really nice shading effect like I said guys feel free to use regular pencil that is completely fine too that'll work totally fine All right, once you're done with that, you can use, I use like a smudging cloth, which is basically like a little chamois. You can also use your finger. You can use a regular cloth. I've seen other people use like cotton swabs, things like that. You can do that also. Now hold down the first paper that's on top pretty strong because you don't want to get any of the smudge underneath it. You basically are just smearing the top of it. And the reason why you're using that other piece of paper is basically so you don't go any further out. And then obviously guys, feel free to play with it as much as you want. Um, it's no problem here. There's really no way that you can mess up, that you can make it wrong. Um, you you wanna basically make it a little bit darker and then a lighter shading as you go towards the inside of the heart. Uh, flip your smudging material over a little bit. That way you can smudge it a little bit differently. Like I said, feel free to play with this. Uh, there is no wrong way to do this as long as your shadow is basically just on the one side. All right, once you're done with that, remove that top piece of paper, and then what you're gonna do is take that heart that you cut out and put that now over the heart drawing that you have there. And then you're gonna do some shading, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shade the outside of the heart, and rather than doing more on the left side, we're gonna do it more on the right side. Now, if you are using a smudging cloth like I am, um, I've already used mine quite a bit, so it is quite dirty. Really, that's all you need. I mean, if you wanted to add a little bit more pencil or a little bit more charcoal, that's fine too. In my case, like I said, the smudging cloth is fairly dirty. It has a lot of charcoal already on it, so I'm just gonna use that. And basically just kind of work around the heart. Hold it down really tight, because you don't want to get anything on underneath, because you want that line transition between the heart and the other one to look really nice. Just like that, guys. Look how perfect that looks. So nice and easy, guys. Now what you do after that is erase a little section right there just to kind of give it a little shadow effect to give it, make it look like it's really popping off the paper. Guys, check out this other awesome geometric project. 
And guys, that's basically it. Um, work with that eraser just a little bit more. Make it nice and clean. Guys, play with it. I've seen some people do a little circle here. Some people do a little square. It's completely up to you. And that's basically it. You're pretty much done. Guys, if you like this project, if you want to see any other projects, please don't forget to subscribe. Please find me on all my other social medias. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I do post there every single day. I also have a website, pokegems.com, where I do have links to all of the materials I use. Guys, like I said, hit subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.